God bless you family, Pastor Daniel Ortega here. And before we get into this video, like and subscribe. Make sure you send this video to any friends or family that you may think they will find this interesting. Let's get straight into it. How did the swastika come up? So I asked him last time that he cut himself and he says day of the incident. So I didn't know if that was after, you know, he was in jail or detained or if that was uh, so he said before. Uh, I asked him where. Um, he said at the house. I asked how many. He said probably five or six times. Then he said it didn't. I asked if he felt better and he said it didn't work. I asked him if he had been hearing voices on the day of the homicide and he said the same man. I said when was the last time? And so this is May of 2019, May 8th, 2019. And he said Sunday. So that would have been in 2019. He pretends my radio is a gun and tells me to pretend it is a gun and to shoot the guard. I said, well, who is this? And he said, swastika. He calls himself Swaz. I said, how did... Okay, so... I don't, I don't want to hear him. It's not comfortable. So you didn't bring up swastika? He did? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, no, I, I didn't. It's the first time I ever heard of that. Okay. Do you know about the swastika now? I do know that he is drawn and that he has related to others about, you know, what he considers another personality named Swaz or a voice named Swaz. So are you saying that Swaz is short for swastika? That's what he was saying, yes. Okay, and the voice's name was Swaz. Okay, did he ever say anything about demons? I'm sorry, say again? Did he ever say anything about demons? Yes, he has. What did he tell you about demons? I have to go back and look. Uh, it's later on. I, I don't know if it was in the interview. I think it was later on. He he's on and off. He mentioned Swaz or he mentions, you know, a demon or I think on the last time I saw him... This video is a really long video, but I edited it to pretty much the meat of what I wanted to speak about. And this is a psychologist that was being interviewed in court in regards to this mass shooter who killed 17 individuals and harmed another 17. So over 30 people were either murdered or injured by this mass murderer and mass shooter but what's interesting is the psychologist begins to tell us that this individual who did the shooting began to hear a voice and he says that this voice would tell him to cut himself and he said that this voice was also a demon by the name of swaz or swastika and when i began to hear this interview of this psychologist and how he began to say that this mass shooter would cut himself because he would hear a voice that would tell him to do this act. It reminded me of in the book of Mark chapter five, verse five, where there's a demoniac man that lived by the tombs or lived in a cemetery. And the Bible says that he was tormented day and night and he would cut himself. Eventually Jesus sets this man free and casts out these demons. But before he's set free and before these demons are cast out, he is, he is doing exactly what this mass shooter was doing. He was cutting himself. He was cutting himself with stones, the scripture says. And what this mass shooter did is he would cut himself with the knife and try to take away the pain because he was hearing a voice telling him to do this act. You can see, obviously, he's demonized. You can see, obviously, that these demons are beginning to penetrate his mind. And, and not only penetrate his mind, but they are they are getting him to act on the thoughts that they're penetrating his mind with. And before I go any further, I don't want to blame the devil because that's what a lot of people do. They only blame the devil. But us as humans, we have to make a choice. We get a choice. The devil can only do so much. The enemy, Satan, demons can only do so much. What he does is he suggests the same way he did for Eve. He suggested something and he began to contradict God's word. He said, did God really say you can't touch that tree? And... He began to manipulate Eve in the garden in the book of Genesis because God never told him that he couldn't touch the tree, but they said he couldn't eat of the fruit of that tree. So he, he twisted the words, and that's what manipulators do. That's what Satan and Satan's 
sons and daughters do. They begin to twist words. They begin to get into the minds of individuals. And we see it in 1 John 3.10 that there's actually people who are named and are are used by Satan. The, the scripture says that they are children of the devil. Those who do not do right, those who do not love, they are actually children of the devil. So you can hear people <clears throat> in the world, you can hear others say that we're all children of God. Well, that's God's plan. He wants us to all be his sons and he wants us to all be his daughters. But if we do not obey, if we're not making the right choices, we actually choose our sire. We choose our father. We choose our family. And we choose we choose dark. We could choose dark. We can choose Satan to be our father. We can choose the devil to be our father and our dad. But that's not what God wants. He wants us to accept his son, Jesus Christ. He wants us to accept forgiveness. And he wants us to become an heir. The Bible says that we we'll, we we'll become we we'll become an heir. And God the creator of heaven and earth becomes our heavenly father but it's very important that we see that there's a battle going on it's so sad that this person was tormented it's so sad that these voices were coming into his mind coming into his ears and not only were they coming into his ears and mind but he acted on what was going on he acted on the suggestions he acted on the seeds that were being planted and he began to take lives. He began to murder and spill blood of innocent children in this mass shooting of a high school. So I do these videos to let the public know <clears throat> things that are going on in this world so we can pray and so we cannot be ignorant to the devices of Satan. It's important as Christians, as parents, as leaders and pastors that we know what's going on in this world. We know the tactics of Satan. You can see my last video, we got Beyonce up here, we got music. We have even pastors that are preaching things that are contrary to what is God's heart, and what is God's character. But I want to give you videos that keep you up to date of what's going on here in this world. It'll keep you up to date what's going on here in the West of America. I hope you like it. Subscribe to the channel. God bless you.